I want to get to another subject, which is the issue of protests in many cities that have Riots. turned violent. In Portland, Oregon especially, we had a, more than 100 straight days of protests, which I think you would agree, you talk about peaceful protests, many of those turned We're into riots. Mr. Vice President, mostly peaceful though. <laughs> you say that people ninety percent of the time people weren't getting burned be and shot. So. the question I have though is, as the Democratic nominee, and earlier and tonight you said BLM that you are the Democratic Antifa. Party God, right damn. now. Have you ever called the Democratic mayor of Portland or the Democratic governor of Oregon and said, "Hey, you got to stop this. Bring in the National Guard. Do whatever it takes, but you stop the days and months of violence in Portland." I don't hold public office now. I am a former vice president. I've made it clear. I've made it clear in my public statements that the violence should be prosecuted. It should okay. be prosecuted. And anyone who commits but it should be never prosecuted. For the people I just don't it, buy it. it. A leader, excuse me, sir. You had never called for the leaders in Portland and in You're, Oregon. Dude, to call Jacob Blake is your homeboy, man. And knock I mean, off I 100 days of riot. <laughs> they can, in fact, take care of it if he just stay out of the way. Oh, Look here. Oh, really? Here, oh, really? Here's well, the thing. That, no, I that, sent sir, in the no, wait, U.S. Marshal to get the killer no, of that, a young that, man that, in the middle of the street. They shot him. Uh, and for three Ms. days, President Trump, Portland President wouldn't Trump, do anything. I had to send in the U.S. Marshals. President they Trump, took care of business. People have died in every single way, major city you know, his riot. His former spokesperson said, you know, riots and chaos and violence help his cause. That's what this is all about. I don't know who said that. What the fuck? I do. Who? I think it. Kellyanne Conway. I don't think she said that. She said that. Abby. And so here's the This is so well, delirious, man. The point, man. The point like, is that that's what he is keeps trying I'm to rile. I'm thunderstruck by this, up. dude. He doesn't want to calm things down. Instead of going in and talking to people and saying, let's get everybody together, figure out how to deal with this. What? What's he do? He just pours gasoline in the fire constantly and every single solitary okay, time. And how? To End this, button up this segment. I'm going to give you a minute to Go answer, and sir. calmly talk you to have BLM psychos. Have you ever seen these people? No, you have his repeatedly... Wait, you have repeat, no, you've been talking you back and forth. You made a statement. I'm asking you... I would a, love no, to you know, end it. Sir, I would love to I, end I, it. I, you know, if you want to switch seats... We, we could very quickly. We could do that, but I'm, I'm sending no, I'm, the National I'm, Guard. It would be over. There'd be no problem. Okay. But they don't want to accept the National Guard. You have repeatedly criticized the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing right. extremist groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia <laughs> groups and to say that Which they ones? need to stand down and not add to the violence Stop in a number of these lying. cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Self-defense. Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero, I man. I would, say, I would say Fuck almost you. everything I see is from the left wing, yep. not from the right wing. So what are you, yep. what are you, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. You want to call him? What do you want to call him? You Give me a name. Disavow me a name. phantom white, white supremacists. White supremacists and right proud boys. Proud boys. Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right his wing own, problem. It's, it's not a right wing problem. These guys this lie, is a dude. Left wing uh, go ahead, white supremacists. How do they bring Antifa's up fucking idea, white supremacists? Not an organization. Uh, oh my god. Dr. He's pro FBI. His okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, then, you know what? No, no, we're done, we're done, sir. Everybody, we're moving on to the next. We're they got to cut Biden off as soon as he's blatantly pro Antifa. The administration tells you the truth is a bad, is a bad idea. Can I tell you what? You have no Antifa, ideas. That are Antifa is a dangerous, radical group. All right, gentlemen, group. we're now moving on to the Trump and, and Biden records. They'll overthrow you. When a president, I'm going to ask a question. When the president seeks a second term, it is generally a referendum on his record. But Vice President Biden, you like to quote one of your dad's sayings, which is, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. And in this case, sir, you are the alternative. 